Hi, I'm Shannon. Um, I want to go through five sun salutations, uh, sun salutation A, and I'm doing it upstairs in the bedroom because I just want to demonstrate the fact that it's okay to um, do yoga anywhere. So it's a lot easier to get out of bed, roll out of bed, and you can just go straight to the floor, or if you have a mat, you can do that as well. Or you could just take a towel, a towel will do, just so you feel like you're on the mat. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So we're coming to the front of our mat or towel, standing tall in mountain pose. Take a deep breath with the arms to the side, soften shoulders, feet firmly on the ground. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. So bending the knees, hands come down to the floor. Inhale, come up halfway. So coming up for a half forward fold and then stepping back into a plank pose. Let's just go on our knees for now. So knee plank have tops of the feet on the floor and lower down elbows just trying to bring the elbows tighter to the body and coming down to the floor inhale lifting your body up into cobra and coming into downward facing dog curling toes under and walking your feet a little bit closer to your hands in downward facing dog so we're in a triangular shape with our body Really spreading the hands, looking at the feet, maybe making them hips width apart, whatever you choose. Breathing. Take a deep breath. Let the head release. Okay, on your next inhale, look forward between the hands and step both feet to the front of the mat. Come up to fingertips. So, or you can have the hands hovering or even on the knees. And exhale. Back to a forward fold. So bend the knees, let the hands come in contact with the mat or the floor. Inhale, standing up. Reaching arms up overhead, looking up the hands. Exhale, back to standing. So, again, so this is number two. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Full body stretch, exhale, forward fold. Hands come to the floor. So we're trying to bend the knees, let the, let the chest rest on the knees. Inhale, straighten legs, look forward. So we're flattening our back and stepping into plank. So this is your choice. If you like doing planks, that's great. If you're new to doing planks, drop the knees to the ground. Tighten your abdomen, tops of the feet on the ground, lower down. So if you feel more comfortable with the arms out to the side now, you can do that. But trying to work eventually to get the arms closer to the body, giving the triceps a good strengthen. Inhale, lifting into cobra again. So lifting, reaching forward with the chest, and then exhaling. Coming into downward dog, tuck the toes under, lift the knees, walk the feet forward a little bit. And just as you're in downward facing dog, just experiment, see how you feel with the legs maybe farther away, or maybe walk the feet a little bit closer to the hands. Driving the heels down towards the floor, lifting the abdomen. So trying to lift the abdomen, trying to lift the tailbone. Breathing. And on your next inhale, looking forward, stepping both feet to the hands. So we have straight legs, Arms can hover or on the shins, or you can come to the fingertips. And then exhaling, bending the knees a bit. Head goes down towards the knees, just letting the head relax. Inhale, now standing up, arms come out to side, reaching upward. And exhale, back to center. Okay, so number three. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Exhaling, forward fold. So following your breathing. So we're trying to improve our concentration by taking ourselves out of our thinking mind. Inhale, 
straighten legs, look forward. So we're flattening our back, the head is reaching forward and stepping into plank. So maybe this time you want to be in full plank, try not to let the bottom um, kind of fall down. We're trying to be really strong throughout the entire body, maybe even lifting up the bottom a tiny, tiny bit. Take a deep breath in, exhale, coming down to our low plank, also known as Chaturanga, coming down. Maybe hovering, maybe not, maybe flopping. <laughs> Inhaling, lifting the chest, cobra. Maybe this time you want to come into up upward dog, cobra or upward dog. If the lower back hurts, I would stay in cobra. Cobra is great for a um, back strengthening exercise. Okay, so coming into downward dog after your choice of cobra or up dog. The downward dog's nice because you can really stretch out the backs of the legs. So you can pedal one foot at a time by pushing one heel in and then the other heel down. You can stretch out the hips as well by maybe shifting the weight side to side. Okay, so we're gonna step our hands, our feet to the hands, come up to fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. So hands come down to the floor, head to knees. Inhale, lifting up. Reaching upward, exhale back to center. So maybe you're feeling the body warming up a little bit. Maybe not. This is so good. Just focusing on the breathing. Mountain pose. Inhale, lifting arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the floor. Really letting the legs bend. Inhale, come up halfway, look forward. And stepping both feet to the back into our plank, strong plank, tighten our abdomen, maybe even lift the pelvic floor. So I'm gonna lower down, elbows close to the side of the body, and maybe hovering, maybe not, maybe coming down, tops of the feet on the ground. Inhale, lifting to cobra or upward dog by straightening the arms, either pose, reaching forward with the chest, so the sternum is reaching forward, trying to take some of that pressure off the back, Tuck toes under, bend the knees to come into our inverted V shape, downward facing dog. So strong hands, so you really wanna spread the hands out, the fingers, distribute the weight throughout the hands so it's not just on the wrists. Breathing, maybe looking through the knees, releasing the face muscles, pushing the tailbone upward. So to stretch out the backs of the legs a little further, you can tighten the thighs. So maybe lift the kneecaps, push the tailbone upward a little more. On your next inhale, look forward, stepping both feet to the front of the mat or towel, your hands. Inhale, so we're halfway forward folded with a flat back. Exhale, full forward fold. So bend the knees, hands come down to the floor. Inhale, standing up, arms out to side, reaching upward. Exhale, back to center. Okay, our final one. We'll do this one a little bit quicker. And these five salutations a day can be done much quicker, but I'm just walking you through with a few little, little tips each time we do it. So mountain pose, inhale, lifting, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. <clears throat> Hands come down to the floor. Inhale, half forward fold. So straighten legs, flat back, look forward. So the chest is reaching forward. Now stepping into plank. Strong plank, strong core. Lower down, chaturanga. On the exhale, lowering down. Elbows tight to the side, working the tricep. You can drop down, tops of the feet on the floor. Inhale, lifting into cobra. Still having the elbows tight to the side of the body. Or you can straighten the arms for up dog. Maybe lift the knees off the floor, lengthening through the whole body from the tiptoes all the way to the chest, the head lifting, and then coming into downward facing dog. Really taking some deep breaths here. Let the head drop down, lifting up the tailbone. The heels can drive down. They don't need to be all the way to the floor. Deep breath. On your next inhale, look forward, step both feet to the front of the mat, come up to fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, 
taking the arms out to the side, lifting up. Full body stretch, maybe a little back bend to finish off. And exhale back to center. So, thank you so much for joining. Hopefully, these tips can help improve your yoga practice a little bit if you've been, if you have been doing yoga for a while, or if you haven't, maybe this will give you the confidence to uh, learn a bit more. So hopefully you can join us each day for 30 days. Um, you can do it on your own, but um, thank you for watching. <laughs>